What's up, guys? I hope that you're all doing well. Um, here I am uploading a video for, you know, the first time on this channel in nearly a year. I, I know I posted it on the community board um, for the channel almost a month ago, or maybe more than a month ago by now that I, I would post a video, and I haven't yet. Uh, but here I am uh, recording one, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys an, an update video on, you know, where I've been. Um, what I've been doing and, you know, what the future is for this channel and what the future is, you know, for me in general. I just kind of want to share how it's been going in my life and how my spiritual path is going. So I'll, I'll probably divide up this video in sort of chapters based, you know, based on what I've been doing, um, you know, the future of the channel, the future of my life, the how my spiritual path has going, been doing. I'll probably divide the video up into chapters. So if there's a certain part that you want to hear, um, you know, you can just skip to that part. Um, but first, I'm just going to talk about, you know, where I've been and, and what I've been doing, because it's been nearly a year since I've uploaded, and you guys are probably wondering. I know I have gotten many DMs um, on Instagram, people asking where I am. I've heard in the comments um, people asking where I am, and the truth is I've just been so busy. I have um, have been in school uh, full-time this, this past year, and it's just been so busy, and I haven't had time to upload. And, you know, when I stopped uploading, that was shortly after I moved out of my parents' house and, you know, moved, you know, a few hour drive away, transferred to a new school. I live with roommates now. Um, yeah. So when I stopped uploading, I was at that point in my life where I had just moved and my original plan was to, you know, continue uploading while I was in school um, continue grinding this channel while I was in school because I really, you know, wanted this channel to go big and I wanted to hopefully eventually, you know, live off it. Um, that was my ultimate hope and um, they clearly, uh, shortly after the school year started, I realized that, that that wasn't going to become a reality because school was just so busy. I didn't have time and, you know, being in, you know, a college town there's so many social events and there's a lot of things that I wanted to work on part personally I wanted to work on my social skills I wanted to uh, work on my game with women and, and I did do all of those things um, so I just kind of put the channel aside for a time and you know I had always hoped that I, I would come back to it one day and you know I could keep uploading um, keep, you know, sharing videos about my spiritual path, about spirituality, you know, really helping people because that's that's my passion. I, I want to help people. I also want to express my, my life as an art form and put my true self out there and just, you know, so people can relate to it, so people can be helped by it. You know, I just want to help people. I want to uplift uh, humanity's consciousness just in any way I can. Uh, that's, that's what I want to do with my life. And um, I've been honing in on how specifically I want to do that. Um, you know, when I was grinding this channel for two years, um, those two years were my first two years of community college. And that was also during peak COVID. So, you know, I had a lot more time to, to, you know, work on videos and, uh, really grind this channel and blow it up and, you know, also dive into spirituality, you know, that, that whole period of my life was, you know, my the beginning of my spiritual journey. And, you know, the channel was just a byproduct of that, really. And so, you know, I really consider, you know, that phase of my life, the, you know, the hermit phase of my life, because, you know, it was peak COVID, you know, quarantine, my school was online. Uh, I had a part-time job at a golf course that I was going to 20 hours a week where I would just listen to, you know, podcasts about, you know, spirituality and stuff like that, stuff to aid in my journey. Um, during that time, you know, it was when I first started experimenting with psychedelics, you know, having my mind deeply expanded, radically changing my worldview. I started meditating. I uh, started learning various contemplative methods. I was reading books by enlightened masters. I was just diving full steam ahead into, you know, this spiritual path. And, you know, there was a lot of growth at the beginning of that where, you know, I did have my worldview radically changed, my my day-to-day -day level of consciousness did change, um, because, you know, and so much changed, and, you know, when I moved away from home, and I was going to a different school, it got much busier, 
I, I really felt like my spiritual growth stagnated quite a bit. And this past year has been so busy. I've just been like waking up and it's go, 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 go all day. And, you know, I feel like I, I've slipped a little bit in, in my spiritual path. You know, I stopped meditating. I, I don't really have time for, you know, sitting down and contemplating as much, although I do do that when I can. You know, um, I've taken a few psychedelic trips in this past year and really, you know, it didn't yield any, any significant insights into my life. It was kind of like I was just being told, it's just like, you know, focus on, you know, the, the human life right now. Focus on becoming more disciplined. Just focus on what you need to do to put yourself in a position to, you know, have enough money, to, you know, have your basic survival needs, to have a good job, and, you know, focus maybe more deeply on this spiritual stuff later. But that's kind of the message I've been receiving, I guess, from psychedelics because... I guess, well, there really hasn't been less of much of a message yet because I keep getting shown the same thing. Um, but there's the other side of me where it's like, I I don't want to put, you know, my life on hold, my spiritual path on hold because that's what I deem to be true, to most true to myself. You know, pursuing awakening, pursuing truth, pursuing love, they all lead to the same place. It's what I'm all about. Uh, these... You know, I've always been a curious person. That's why my channel name is The Curious Minds. I've always asked these existential questions about life. I've always wanted to find out answers. And, you know, now in the past couple of years, as my, as my spiritual path has progressed, it's really gone into the experiential domain, you know, with psychedelics and meditation and contemplation and all of that. And it's much less, you know, conceptual intellectual learning at this point because direct experience just yields such profound insights and you know that's that's really how you're you're gonna get to where you want to be that is you know enlightenment awakening truth it's going to be probing into your direct experience and you know i think in, in my spiritual path i've kind of you know kept looking for some grand big insight to just pummel me and completely change me forever which you know that's not really the reality of, of how this stuff works it's you know gradual you know at the beginning you know think of it like like lifting weights like if you once you just start lifting weights you know you'll notice um a big increase at first you'll get a lot stronger at first you'll probably notice you know um significant more muscle mass on your body at first but eventually you get to a point where you know the your improvements are get smaller and smaller over, over time and um you know you just don't have as big of a difference as you did at the beginning because at the beginning you had so much area to grow in whereas you know as you go further it's more improving incrementally and i guess that's where I'm sort of at with my my spiritual path now is that there's no need for me to be looking for some grand insight um you know that can maybe achieved on psychedelics or you know really anywhere just in real life i i feel like you know in the back of my mind i've been searching for that grand insight that will just wash over me and completely you know heal me of everything that i need to be healed of and the reality is that's not going to happen and what I really need to be doing is, you know, in the day to day, I need to be meditating every day. I need to be doing, you know, my spiritual practices every day. And over time, that's going to build up incrementally. And before I know it, I am, you know, going to be living a much more abiding in a much more, you know, higher consciousness state. And, you know, just living my truth and expressing myself truthfully, you know, much more to the world. Um, so that's really, you know, where I'm at is that I need to be focusing on the day to day in my in my spiritual life and um, not looking for some grand insight because I, I think I've had enough of those for now and you know you'll always have those grand insights at the beginning when you don't know anything but you know once you get to a certain point yeah you're not going to really have that anymore um, so anyways that's how my spiritual path has been going um, you know and then I have one more year of school left by the way um, so for those who are wondering, I 
really am not going to have time to work on the channel for for that um, this next year. You know, although it hurts, I really would like to work on the channel. It um, It's just not in the cards for me right now. And I originally posted on the community board a month ago uh, saying that I would have a video coming because I as when the summer began and I really wanted to make a few videos this summer. But um, my creative plans for this summer, you know, now that I have more time, now that school's out, have actually changed a little bit. And I've actually been working on writing some fiction which is something that I've always wanted to do since I was very young. You know, I've always been a pretty good writer, um, and I've always, you know, liked reading and storytelling, and I've always wanted to tell stories of my own. So I've been working on some, some short stories this, uh, this summer um, that, you know, the themes and the underlying lessons, you know, behind uh, these stories are, are very deep, you know, the spiritual concepts dealing with oneness, um, dealing with enlightenment, dealing with truth, dealing, you know, with, with infinite love, dealing with all these things. And I, I think the stories are going to be quite good once they're finished. So I actually plan on, on publishing, self-publishing, um, well, maybe publishing with a publisher if possible, but definitely self-publishing a, a series of short stories, like a collection book of, uh, a bunch of short stories, um, and, and selling it probably just self-publishing on Amazon, but of course I, I post it on here and let you guys know. Um, because I just want to, I think there just needs to be more more high consciousness in, you know, just the storytelling world in general, whether that be books, movies, shows, or whatever, um, because the, the lessons that are, not the lessons, but the type of content that is most pervasive you know, in our society, which is like the shit, like, like Marvel, um, you know, those action movies, some mindless, mindless movies, um, mindless kind of stuff, superhero stuff, which, you know, people like that a lot, but, you know, I want to have something, I want to be someone or be a creator, um, like I said, whether it be through like a book or a movie or a show, I want to be a creator that deeply moves someone, that opens and expands someone's mind and opens them up to, to radical new possibilities in life and really makes them feel something in their soul and, you know, strives to get them to think about things in a different way, um, be a curious person, you know, just something that promotes, you know, the expansion or the um, raising of you know, the human collective consciousness on this planet. I, I want to be a creator who does that. And um, I was doing that with this channel when I had time to do that. And, um, you know, I'd like to do that through through storytelling because I don't think there's enough of that. And one last thing I'll say before I go is that this channel will never fully go away. It'll never fully die. Um, you know, I want to be a creator. I want to, um, you know, always do this channel when I can, because I do have 35,000 plus people that, that look up to me on this channel and have derived value, or I hope have derived value from my work. And, you know, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people to help. Um, that's a lot of people whose whose minds I can expand and help in some way. So I'll never, I'll never fully go away, but I do have one more year of school left. And um, I really have no idea what I'll be doing after I graduate. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm majoring in psychology. And, you know, that's a, it's a major where if you really want to take it somewhere, you got to go to graduate school after. So whether it be getting your master's or... Yeah, I'm getting your master's and going to get your MFT, which is like your license for, for therapy. Um, you know, I really, something I've thought about is becoming, you know, a psychedelic therapist because that's, you know, a field that is opening up. Um, psychedelics are coming back into the mainstream. And, you know, by the time I, I will have graduated from whatever graduate school is in like three, four years, you know, maybe in a position to be a psychedelic therapist, which would be deeply um, 
you know, rewarding to me. It'd be work that's deeply re rewarding to me. But, you know, I do think my deepest calling is to to be a, a creator. I, I really like, you know, living on my own terms and doing creative work. You know, this channel, writing fiction, um, just being creative. I a very creative human. I have so many ideas. And I have, you know, more ideas than I can actually actualize. There's never a shortage of ideas in my mind. And, you know, if I can just put something out there um, that can help people to expand their minds in some way, you know, and I can live off that, that's what I really want to be doing. I would say my dream is to be be a creative, whether that be, you know, a, you know, author, a screenwriter, um, you know, a YouTuber, be some sort of creator that does work that is deeply satisfying to me and helps people in some way. And also I would like to be a life coach and work very closely, you know, with, with a few clients, you know, work very intimately and very closely um, with a few clients and and really try to alchemize their lives and um, you know improve their lives that would be the dream for me all while I'm living on you know a plot of land where I can just go meditate in the forest for hours at a time I can go walk wherever for hours at a time that's the dream I'm just talking right now but that's the dream um, but yeah as far as this channel goes um, I maybe expect a few uploads um, before the summer ends. This is just an update video, but probably expect a few uploads because I do have a couple ideas for, for some actual videos, you know, not an update video. Um, a video that I'm thinking about working on is, I'm going to title it something like, live your life as an art form and talk about how, you know, really take your life and make it art, express it truthfully, express it honestly, be who you are, look inside, find who you are and be who you are and express that authentically. And I'll kind of weave that into something how, you know, make your life an art. I have a lot of ideas for that video and I think it would, a lot of people would like it. So if that does sound like a cool video, you let me know in the comments. Um, this video has really just been me rambling. I had no script at all. But that's what's been going on with me. I've just been grinding school. No time for the channel. Sorry. But I hope I can come back to it eventually. Um, once I graduate and once I'm more settled down. And yeah. That's really all I got for you guys today. Have a great day and peace.